This little nature show is heading south, to the Gulf Coast of Florida, where we land in one of the few wild mangrove estuaries left in North America. The Rookery Bay National Estuarine Research Reserve. A huge variety of plants and animals live here, because there's more than 100,000 acres of protected shallow waters and pristine mangrove and upland forests. We're just a little ways from the mangroves that are along the edge of the salt water and only a little bit higher in elevation, but it's enough that there's a whole forest growing around us now with big tall palm trees and pine trees and live oaks and palmettos. And here in this scraggly acacia, Dave Graff from the Education Center here at Rookery Bay has shown us some really great little nature that's happening. These little guys are called thorn bugs and they may be the cutest bugs I've ever seen. They could fly away like most of their tree hopper relatives would have by now, but I think they consider themselves well protected by their scary thorns with blood red tops. So they're fairly approachable, though I'm not going to mess with the tops. Thorn bug generations all hang out together Adult females have the very pointy thorns, while males have flattened flag-like tops with snappy red pinstripes. And this grayish one is an elderly thorn bug, a grandmother, so to speak, living near her family. Female thorn bugs lay 15 to 50 eggs in a slit they make in the tree's bark with a saw-like structure called an ovipositor. They watch over the eggs for the 20 days or so it takes them to hatch, and then they stay with their young to protect them as they grow up. Young thorn bugs, called nymphs, are equipped with three small thorns, but they're softer bodied than the adults, and they can't fly. Growing up for a thorn bug is very different than for a person. Insects don't have internal bones like we do. Their bodies are organized around exterior skeletons, called exoskeletons. This youngster has recently emerged from its small exoskeleton, and when it's grown to the limits of its new shell, it will molt again. Here's a whole series of empty exoskeletons. Small, medium, and the large final one that a nymph shed to become an adult. Through this whole process, the family stayed together. Mom, with her pointy red-tipped thorn, stands guard. The official term for the stages that young insects go through between molts is instar. These large young are now in their final instar, ready for their last molt. And here it goes. When firmly attached to a tree, the thorn bug's body begins to expand and to split the back of its old exoskeleton. The whole process takes more than an hour. You can see its new wings folded against its body, ready to expand and harden. Finally free of its old covering, the new adult's bright new thorn, called a pronotum, will slowly expand to protect its back. A newly emerged thorn bug is very vulnerable to predators. But lucky for it, adults are still watching out. Look at this female as she stabs at a bothersome wasp to keep it away from a pair of newly emerged thorn bugs. A thorn bug looks for a slender branch to feed on, 
one that's bark is thin enough for him to insert his sharp mouth part, called a proboscis, down far enough to reach the flowing sap. Lined up like thorns on a rose bush, they plug in and let the pressure of the liquid flowing through the plant force nutritious sap into their bodies. They extract nutrients and then expel the excess liquid and waste from their other end. Because the liquid that thornbugs expel is sweet, it's called honeydew, and it attracts ants, flies, and many other insects, and also the lizards that prey on them. Okay, now one last great thing about thorn bugs. These are true bugs. If you've ever been around a biologist and said, there's a bug, chances are they've said, that's not a bug, it's an insect. Well, that's because in science, only members of the order Hemiptera are officially called bugs. That means millions of insect species in about 28 other orders are not true bugs. There's Thysanera, Ephemoptera, Olinata, Orthoptera, Plecoptera, Embioptera, Zoraptera, Megaloptera, Neuroptera, Macoptera, Diptera, Lepidoptera, Hymenoptera. All of these, 28 of them, are orders that belong to the class insect. Let's look at a few. There's Odonata, the beautiful damsel and dragonflies. Hymenoptera, more than 100,000 kinds of bees, ants, and wasps. There are more than 20,000 grasshopper and cricket species in Orthoptera. In Lepidoptera, almost 150,000 species of moths and butterflies. And the Coleoptera has more than 300,000 kinds of beetles so far. And look at these handsome bark lice from the order Socoptera. There are so many, many others here, but my point from which I've strayed is that thorn bugs being members of the Hemiptera, are indeed true bugs. And so we'll put this thorn bug back on its tree and close by saying, hey, look at these bugs.